if you have made it to this section of this tutorial that means that you are just two minutes away from your success and your success is in your hand so let's work it out by opening your browser and then navigate to this url to download visual studio code there's going to be a link in the description so you can download for any of your operating system and when you are done navigate to this url to download docker we are going to use docker to run this bot file for developers you can use node.js but for non-developers and generally we are going to use docker which is good for developers and non-developers in this case docker is going to create a container that is going to push all your bot cool and then install the necessary dependencies for you automatically so you don't have to do anything but you just have to run a single command so let's kick start after installing visual studio code and docker navigate to this url github.com slash floronix slash base iphone arbitrage iphone bots this is the official floronix github and this is the files of our bots that we are going to run so you can go ahead to read the documentation of this and then see what are the prerequisites of this and then the installation guide so we are going to start by installing this our board by running this our command so if you are on windows or on mac just open your powershell or git bash on your windows and if you are on mac just navigate to your terminal and when you get to your terminal let me just clear my terminal for now if you type ls you are going to see the directory that you are in and currently i am in the pwd I am in the users my name directory. This is the directory I am going to clone this GitHub repository into. Whenever you are cloning this GitHub directory, which is the GitHub repo to a directory, just make sure that your Docker have access to the directory. You can check if your Docker have access to that directory by going to your Docker desktop and then clicking on these settings and then go to resources and then click on file sharing and there you can see my docker have access to the users directory and other directories but if your docker doesn't have access you can add it manually by copying the directory you want to run your bot or the parent directory to this point and then click on apply and restart okay on your terminal on mac or on your powershell or git bash on your windows just type git underscore underscore version to see to make sure that you have git installed in your computer the version of git you have doesn't matter what matters is that you have git installed and then navigate to the github url and then copy this command i'm going to click on it to copy it and then navigate to my terminal and then paste it here and then click on enter so what this command is doing is that is copying the files from this directory to your local computer and then after copying the file to your local computer it's going to change the directory from the terminal to the file that it copied so we now have a change directory to the base arbitrage but right now and if we ls we are going to see all the files in this directory what we should do next is that i'm going to open my finder app on windows you can open your file explorer and on mac it is known as finder so i'm going to go to my finder and then navigate to the home directory and then here you can see my base arbitrage board that is being cloned from the directory so the next thing i am going to do right now is to open visual studio code and after opening my Visual Studio Code, I am going to gently drag my base arbitrage board to Visual Studio Code to open the files. And then I am going to close my Finder app. And on my Visual Studio Code, we can see our files, which is our Dex arbitrage board files. And what we are going to do is just to open the source directory and then navigate to the .env file. Open the .env file and then paste your private key or seed phrase so i am going to navigate to my metamax in this case and then copy my private key or my seed phrase to this variable and when i am done i am going to click ctrl s or command s on mac to save 
I am going to pause this video right now and set up my environment variable and then when we are done we will resume but before then you have to make sure that your wallet has ETH and WETH to be able to use this arbitrage board because ETH is what is going to pay the gas fee and your WETH is what is going to execute the trade so from this my wallet for demonstration purpose i only have 284 usd worth of eth and i only have uh, 1.9 usdt worth of weth so i am going to convert my eth to weth so how you can do that is that you can manually transfer your eth to the contract address of weth Take note only on base chain. If you copy a contract address of WETH on base chain and transfer your ETH from Ethereum chain to base chain wrap ETH address, then you are going to lose your cryptocurrency forever. So take note the contract address is here so if you go to utils and address.yml you can see the contract address of WETH from here and I am going to navigate back here and then send the quantity of for uh, my eth to this contract address he is going to warn me that i am about to send to a token contract which is weth contract please do not do this in any other contract this is only a function specifically for wrap eta contract address so not all token have this function so do not manually send your eth to any token contract because you might lose your cryptocurrency so i'm going to type the amount of eth i want to send to this contract so in this case of this video i am going to send uh, 10 usd worth of eth to convert it to weth for demonstration purpose of this video and then i am going to click on confirm and then click on confirm again and then wait for the transaction to verify and once it is confirmed and if you go back to token you are going to see that my eth balance has reduced and my weth balance has increased because i i have converted from eth to weth okay i am done setting up my environment variable with my private key so what next is i am going to click here to open this bar and click on terminal to navigate to the terminal that is provided in visual studio code and the next thing i am going to do is that if you navigate to your github link and you are going to see running using docker and then running using node.js so we are going to run using docker so what i am going to do is that i'm going to build a docker image from our bot file by copying this command and then navigating to our root directory which is the base arbitrage bot directory then paste the command and then click on enter but before i click on enter i want to show you docker for example if you go here to docker images you are going to see that docker has no image at this point because we haven't created any docker image so after we've run this command a docker image is going to be created in which we can run using our docker desktop so i'm going to click on enter and docker is building our files to make a docker image right now so we wait for it to complete bam it is completed and if you navigate back to docker right now and under images you can see our base arbitrage bots so we can then run it here using docker and now we are going to run this image and once we run a command that is going to run this image, we are going to see a container created here. Docker is compiling our bot file, which is the files that we downloaded from our GitHub repo and then creating a container, an isolated container in our local computer in which we are going to run it. Your computer is now sharing an isolated resources for Docker to use and run your bots. Docker is incredible. So let's run our bots by going to the github repo and then this is the command for running our bot by docker by docker so we are going to run the command docker run and we pass in the environment variable take notes you have to pass in the environment variable which is the, your env file so we are passing in the file so that docker can recognize 
that that is the environment variable which involve our settings so this is the bot of the name of the image that we are going to run so i'm going to copy and then put it here and then click on run so if you want to run it on detached mode you can then come here and put iphone d and then click on enter in that case it is going to run without printing into the terminal so i'm going to run it in detached mode so i'm going to click on enter and you can see the container id so from here we can see the image and we can see the container is running and if i click here you are going to see our bot is running it was initializing and it was running here we can see transaction has already been executed so i'm going to post it and this is how it works so let's just copy this transaction as and then navigate to our block explorer paste it and then click on enter and bam you can see the swap of one eth this is great so we've already executed an arbitrage a successful arbitrage 0. Point something w eth for us that is amazing so that's exactly how this dex arbitrage bot works and if you've made it to this point, congratulations for your first success of executing an arbitrage bot. The information you are learning from this video right now is very important when it comes to creating an arbitrage trading bot. And this is a pathway to how you can make your own arbitrage bot that works 100% working. So go ahead and modify your bots if you can modify or run it and let me know in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video so that you can get to other people who want to build an arbitrage trading bot and also there's going to be a link in this description of this video to join the discord channel so you can interact with others who are using the bots and other bots. I am super excited to get to the end of this tutorial. Until then, see you in the next video.